All right, I'm gonna run through that one more time because we're gonna be discussing, not disgusting, GM. Oh, I don't know. It might be, it might be disgusting. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to this unfiltered and only somewhat edited discussion. I am Autoblog senior producer Chris McGraw, and today I am joined by the driver of brown diesel BMW SUVs, West Coast editor James Rizwick, as well as Mr. Blackwing himself, associate editor Byron Hurd. Today we're going to be discussing the best and worst of GM vehicles, cars, trucks, SUVs, and vans. But before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more automotive content from Autoblog. We've got something for everyone, reviews, reveals, podcasts, gaming, almost everything. But for now, let's talk GM. General Motors, the company best known for its cars like the GTO, Camaro, Corvette, and Suburban has also made some questionable decisions throughout the years. But to start things off, let's talk about current vehicles. So guys, what are your best and worst of each category of vehicle that GM currently makes? Yeah, well, I feel like I'm kind of being set up here, but uh, anyway, so for uh, <laughs> so for for best car, uh, I'm gonna say the the C8 Corvette uh, for just like you know, wow factor, like it, it, it's it's a killer automobile. It's hard to go wrong with that. Um, yeah, going down the line for truck, I'm going to go with the the Colorado ZR2. It's a okay. uh, kind of dark horse, you know. It's 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 old. It's about to be replaced, but you know, there's stuff going on there. Uh, for SUV, Buick Enclave, which I feel like is gonna get really weird for wow. everybody. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then uh, for EV, Hummer EV, it barely exists, but it doesn't catch fire yet. So I feel like that's a real <laughs> upside. Um, you okay. know, in the grand scheme of things. Man, I, so, I have to be honest with you. I did not expect a Buick to come this early in the conversation. <laughs> Coming in hot, coming yeah. in hot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we want to. You want to take issue with any of those, or do you want to? You want to propose alternatives? Well, I first? mean, I'm kind of surprised as like my first choice here is the, and I wasn't expecting to be able to use it because you would go first, but it's your actual car. You haven't yeah. picked yeah. your own car. Yeah, I was wondering about car. that. No, no, but yeah. <laughs> Cadillac CT4, and I haven't even driven the Blackwing, which is what you own. And by the way, calling yep. you Mr. Blackwing makes you sound like a superhero, so that's cool. I, I'm all right with that. I wish I'd if if I'd known going in that's where we were gonna head with that, I would have worn a different like color kind of <laughs> scheme here and and kind of owned it a little better. But yeah, no, I mean the the Corvette is just it it's so amazing. Like it 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 was such a paradigm shift for for GM and one that literally everybody saw coming for how many decades but then it finally happened and it really worked so yeah it's 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 really hard to discount how amazing that car is and and yeah it's not the one I bought but I mean there's a difference between something being good and something being good for me so like I well, yeah you're probably right as I'm kind of picking the CT4 because I I really liked it but it it is a sensational car to drive it again not not just the Blackwing but like the lesser version yeah oh yeah I'm, I mean certainly not going to argue with you in terms of like sports <laughs> sedans I, I think it's the one I I choose I I it is more fun to drive than the BMW 3 Series um I think it looks great sadly they no longer sell it in green. But uh, yeah, no, I I love the CT4. It is a, and I'm not just kissing your ass here. I, I it's uh it's it, it's a great car. I think it's the best thing that they they currently make. I mean, the Corvette is great. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I and especially for the money, and you no longer have to say that the Corvette is so good now. Uh, I, I just you know for the money though, would I rather have a Cayman? Probably, but. Uh, I, I think that either of those are just fantastic. In terms of other uh, segments, uh, the truck thing's tough because um, the she the heavy duty ones, the Chevys, are hideous, uh, yeah, and we all know that ugly. the trucks are about to ha are going to be uh, redesigned in terms of their interiors, which was the number one reason they were not competitive for the segment. Um, and but we haven't seen them yet in person, so. Uh, I, I don't know. 
I guess whatever the future, the, the Silverado high country with the new interior, let's go with that. Uh, SUVs, um, you know, the, the Tahoe and the Yukon, they are so much better now. And, you know, you have that diesel engine in them and they now get best in class fuel economy while still like having just as much or more torque. I don't entirely remember. And by the way, if we say anything that's factually incorrect here, we're doing our best. We're not GM historians. <laughs> and there's only so many windows I can have up on my computer at any given time. Um, this is facts. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's extremely competitive. I think it's the best thing in the class now. So I'm going to have to go with the, the Chevy. Uh, the, I, uh, I know. I, I just got out of a Yukon AT4. And I drove that like to uh, to Vail and back, and man, that interior is so so much better than anything that I've personally seen from GM in a long time. Uh, that I, I was very impressed with that. Yeah, yeah, and it has the new Android Automotive tech interface for twenty two. Uh, the old one was actually fine, but you know it does have that new thing. And then EVs, I'm gonna go with the one that catches fire. Or could the bolt? Because uh, uh, the, the 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 Hummer is so far away, it's gonna it's gonna um, uh, come out uh, in stages. So yeah, it'll be the first edition. But the ones that are cheaper will be so far away. It's like they don't really exist. So I'm gonna say the bolt because maybe not just like right in this moment, but it was so beyond everything else like the the amount of range you got from that car just massively leapfrogged anything that was remotely um like similar in price um and although the body style they completely whiffed on in terms of something that people would actually want to buy um you know it it still counts for a lot because that that is a very impressive um vehicle and it deserves a lot more attention than it gets because you know the, the body style hurt it but from a technical standpoint it's a great achievement even if yeah. the battery supplier really let them down yeah and honestly like if i think if they'd gone bolt euv first and just offered either front or all-wheel drive in what was already basically a more realistic crossover then they probably wouldn't have had the sales struggles that they had with it at the same time like yeah, it is really good. I I genuinely loved it. I just you know it it's hard to to call it best under the circumstances at the moment. I mean, considering you know they can't even sell them, so that's it's not a great look. 